a simple act of imprudence can take one to a destruction and a worst situation that one can ever imagine. Prudence is the virtue by which we discern what is proper to do under various circumstances in time and place, observes Thomas Milton. May the peace and joy of Christ be with you today. In today's Gospel, which is taken from St. Luke chapter 16, verses from 1 to 8, Jesus, through a parable, speaks about the importance of being prudent. Prudence, as we know, is an important quality that any person in any walk of life would need. There are a thousand eyes all around us, watching to praise and to destroy, most often destroying than praising and encouraging. A simple act of imprudence can take one to a destruction and a worst situation that one can ever imagine. There are people also who use the prudence very well to gain and regain the name and fame and social status as the one in the gospel today. Christian prudence implies to a power to overlook the pressing temptations of the present for the weighty advantage of the future. To say no to that which glitters and deceives for that which is solid but less attractive. That is to say, no to the temptation of becoming popular and famous and enjoying the momentary pleasures for achieving that which lasts forever, the eternal life and the eternal joy. My dear friend, Today, Jesus invites you and me through the parable not to imitate the actions and intentions of that evil and wicked servant, but to be prudent. To be prudent in our life of faith. To be prudent in our pastoral, religious, social and family commitments. To be strong enough in our faith and to be prudent enough in living our faith. Or else, as St. Peter alerts us, we could be devoured by that enemy, the devil, who is prowling round like a roaring lion, looking for someone to devour. Or as St. Paul and the author of this letter to the Hebrews alert us, we could be carried away or deceived by some strange and false doctrines. Prudence is the footprint of wisdom and silence is the sanctuary of prudence. And it is the Holy Spirit who gives us the prudence, the great virtue called prudence. My dear friend, let us seek to be quiet in the presence of the Holy Spirit, that gifted and strengthened by the Holy Spirit, we, the children of light, can brighten up the world by living our faith prudently and wisely. May the words of Jesus redeem us. Amen. <music>